get in on Belmonts, they are in grave danger. And they, they have more extreme ways to get out than other characters, but they also, like, have, um... They're just able to tack on so much more. It's sort it's sort of more extreme in terms of the opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of, like, how to play a zoner. I didn't even consider that up smash coming yeah. out of Min Min. That's going to be kind of tough for Dom if he's not careful. That is a reflect if Peckham can get it out. And I was going to ask you, since you play um, since you play Belmont so much, I was wondering, what do you think in terms of stage would we want to see here? Would you have guessed, like, FD I think is a pretty easy guess, but in terms yeah. of, like, future stages, it's just, like, Kalos, Town and City, just the normal stuff? Ooh. Yeah, sorry, uh, I'm just completely caught up. But yeah, I mean, FD makes perfect sense. You obviously see things like Kalos, and then yeah. also anything that's like <laughs> a big, long, flat stage, basically, right? Sure, yeah, want, yeah. Uh, Town and City probably going to make an appearance at some point, would be my guess. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, get into the match. I'm surprised we haven't seen an upbeat from Dom, actually, too. Okay, that's that down angle whip that I'm talking about. That's <laughs> exactly, exactly what you're going to want to see here. A lot of ledge setups here from Dom. Okay, going for the... Oh, there it is! Down angle yeah. there again, too. It's going to be huge in this matchup. Back air, yep. Down yep, yep, yep. angle, back air. Yeah, just the aerial control on display is just so good from Dom. Always landing it at the right times. There it is again, angled up. Just like, that's harder to hit than you guys would think. Yeah, it's it, so common just to see Belmonts just go for the normal standard width because they don't know how to angle it. And I love too, like, obviously we've always talked about, oh, yep, held on the ledge for too long. We've always Jeez. talked about uh, the F smash into, or uh, Holy Water into F smash, but what Dom goes for, it's way more consistent because at this level, people SDI out of the Holy Water is while they're doing that, you back air, and then you can catch them with the bad DI too, and the guaranteed damage, and you rinse and repeat anyway. Holy Water F Smash is dead, folks. It's done. It should be. Yeah. Like, if you're still getting hit by that, you shouldn't be, honestly. I'm sorry, every other Belmont. I know we kind of want that and need it, but it's it's crutch for us, too. I'm sorry. Okay, down air, getting out of there. Heck, I'm having a hard time. You can take the first stop, Tony. Yeah, 128 here on Dom, who has just been dominating this game. And, and really, the entire game has been spent on the right side of the stage. Dom put Peckham off stage once or twice and did not relent since then. Peckham wasn't able to recover there at the very end. Trying to use that up B to get up against Dom. Trying to push against that shield. Finally poking through it, but Dom is just really on top of things. Finally, probably, yeah, he's going to lose that stock to that forward smash right now. 44% on Peckham. Not especially high, but considering how much we've seen Dom just patrol the ledge, Peckham has got to be on guard the entire stage. Like, you're never safe. Peckham is doing an excellent job here, though, uh -oh. controlling stage on his own. Mm -hmm. Good stall right there. Dom not pulling himself into the ledge, which would have certainly been dangerous. You can see him air dot, or you can see him spot dodge after the second fist comes out. That's good matchup knowledge, but the, it doesn't matter. The stocks are flying in the set so far, Tony. Dom's stock, Dom's lead is just gone. That's the thing with the Belmonts, man. You can never sleep. Three stocks is not a lead. Like it just doesn't matter, man. They can just drop at any percent. So Dom, though, good position. And to me, Tony, and what this matchup is looking like is whoever gets control of the ledge, whoever knocks their opponent off stage yeah. and forces them onto the ledge first is gonna be the one. Oh, what if what if that hit is connected oh up air nice job good Huge call in there up air got the sweet spot too right there at the very edge just perfectly placed but you're right it, it is just about stage domination it's that stage control if you can get your opponent off it is so easy to just maintain that position um, and, and I think that goes back to what we were talking about before, where a lot of characters that they can get in on Belmont, that they can get in on Mim, and they can make it really difficult. But if both of these characters are going to be trying to play the same game, whoever plays it better, whoever just controls the stage, is going to just dominate all the way through. And yeah. there, it happened to be Dom. Yeah, the stage, the ledge trapping too was just so big. Both these characters, they have a hard time getting off the ledge themselves, and the other one is really good at keeping you on there and, and trapping you on the ledge too. So it's just, it's a matchup of extremes, and we're going to see it. FD is going to be the run back. We had another extreme stage. I think both these characters obviously benefit greatly from the control that they can get uh, of this just being a single platform stage. Um, the thing with it too is it's, it's going to be tough because... Yeah, dude, I think one thing that Dom's doing that I don't think a lot of people expect is calling out these jumps so well with the up angle yeah. fair. You control and make them realize that the ground isn't safe for them. So what are they going to do? They're naturally going to jump, and then what you're going to do is, is fair them out of the, out of the skies. I, I think we're going to look to see that again here. 
I love the attempt on that dash grab, expecting the uh, the shield on the cross. Dom not quite landing it, but I like the idea. And there's that opening. You can see whenever you hit that up B uh, as Belmont, it just puts you in such a bad spot. Peckham not able to convert the way that they wanted to, but it's still such a huge risk. You could just lose your stock for that if uh, the opponent guesses right. Like if they flip the coin three times and get all heads, you could just lose everything, especially a character like Min Min. Peckham going to be able to recover, has to get around the holy water. He does... It's going to take a lot of damage for it. Yeah, Peckham's getting really good at, at getting a lot better so far, at least in this first stock of avoiding the ledge traps. Dom throwing out the old kitchen sink, you know, literally all the neutral, yeah. all the B button moves out there. Peckham's still able to avoid them, but Dom taking the first stock again. Looks good here, Tony. You see, there it is again, that neutral they're in to grab, which seems to be a lot of characters' thing in this game, man. There are so many neutral layer drag downs to grab. Uh, in Smash Ultimate specifically. Weird yeah, yeah, DI yeah. there. Uh, well, wanted to get out of that, I guess, but went straight left. That is tragic. Yeah, you hold away because you don't want to get caught by the whip, but it's there faster than you think it's going to be, and then you're just yeah. DIing the wrong way and you're dead. And the other thing is, like, you're so scared of going to the ledge too fast because then you're going to get caught by a cross or, or a holy water, so you don't anticipate the aggressive kind of approach. You see, he went for that up smash there, too. Fair. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's, 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 yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's oh, checkmate. man. Mm -hmm. He knew it, man. He got the double jump right there. He lined everything up perfectly. Three stock. After almost getting reverse three stock. That's Dom, man. I could watch this kid play all day. PU, dude. Oh my god. He just got stuck on the side and he could it was the same mistake again, too, by the way. He was holding left and he got whacked by the whip. And it put him in a position where it was like you said, checkmate. You can't yep. make it back. You're nope. just gonna get whipped again. Um, this just reeks of inexperience in terms of matchup stuff. Like you can't blame Peckham for not playing a top Belmont player. They are not calm. Doesn't yeah. This is it. Uh, he's he's getting the experience now. This is exactly. It. <laughs> this is this is great in terms of like footage. You know, you'll be yeah. able to watch back this set and figure out not to di Simon's whip straight left. You know that yeah. might help. Um, but it's just the character is so fast in weird ways. Uh, and and you want to get out and you just take that whip right to the mouth holding straight left just nine o'clock on the on the dial and it's uh it, it's bad you can see peckham now wanting to go to a different stage wanting to shift stuff up at least in a minor way uh with these platforms i don't know how well it's going to serve them because once you're on the ledge you're always there They're, the ledges are the same you know what i mean you're stuck yeah. <laughs> And in the only stages we play, I don't have ledges, so, you know, it's going to be a tough thing to kind of get away from. Yeah. But that last checkmate situation, too, I thought for sure he'd nair just because it's a little more active, but he just went for the down angle fair and closed it out. So, I don't know. I'm curious why he went for that. But either way, it worked out. We're here. Game three. 2-0 lead for Dom. Look at that. A Hail Mary there with the uh, holy water. Yeah. You can see fun. Peckham. Uh, I like what Peckham's doing. They are sitting in the shade here. Um, if you watch Peckham, he's chilling under that platform, even if Dom isn't anywhere near them. And I guess it's to cover, you know, the jump-ins, trying to stop the, uh, the angled whips. Just really chilling under that house. And I think that's why Peckham would want to go to a stage like this with some platforms. Yeah, you can see even when they're in the advantageous position with Dom above them, Peckham opts to give up the stage and just say, okay, I'm going off to the side, just keeping this advantage and taking that first stop. A bear? Oh, looking for another one too? If that hit, that would have been a stock. These characters are crazy. A B, yep. That's one thing is that uh, Peckham, you can't really nair at, at Belmont. They have that frame six up B out of shield, and Dom's been parrying them a lot, honestly, too. So, you gotta be really careful with that stuff. Up air, catching the retrieving jump out of there. It's the ultimate yeah. jump out of disadvantage, man. Everyone does it. Yeah, that's gotta be so frustrating. Because, like, you were ahead by a pretty considerable margin. It, they were they were pretty strong and now it just all got wiped away by one up air by Dom. That was so smart. Oh, F Smash would have broken the shield. If he, if they were stuck in shielding the axe, that would have broken yeah. the shield and would have been a stop. That one still works. Back there. Oh, into the cross. <laughs> that would have been a combo. That would have been a combo too. Up Smash. Yep, he's looking for it. He's looking. Dom's on the hunt here, guys. You never know. Like he's just always cooking up something that crazy brain, man. Up B, yeah. good punish there. 
that is one thing, like, you know, it's one thing to break through the zones of Belmonts, and you gotta deal with the frame six up B that does almost 18%. It's so, they could definitely be crushed right now. Yeah, I, and it's like a QTE, because it's like, you've got the frame six up B, you've got the down tilt, which will create space behind you. It's like, you have to, you have to wait and respond correctly to whatever they're gonna do, and that could be harder than you would think. Um, but then again, there's a character like Rob in the game who wants to keep you away and then has a has that down tilt. <laughs> so, one I don't down know. Tilt, yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Pressure at the ledge here. Oh, the bottle didn't scoop, which is actually surprising because it, it can yeah. actually kind of scoop on the way by. So I think that was the time he was going for it. But either way, good job by Peckham surviving that onslaught, which has not been easy. Dom does not make it easy. That's it. Okay. All right, come on. Peckham, I'm trying to build up some story here. Come on, man. Hold on to the stocks. Nice job by Dom responding right there. That is not easy. Dom playing from behind, yeah. Beckham, DI up, bro. Just hold up. <laughs> Come on. Every time Beckham has died, it's been on the left side of the stage. It's it's, just, yep. it's been so often. Um, I mean, like, that whip is just catching him consistently. And now, maybe on his last stock in the winner's bracket, if he can't figure out Dom, just more and more damage is getting tacked on. We know that Peckham has the stuff to win a game. We'll just see if he can pull it all together here at the end in the final stock. I like the Megawatt right to the face of Dom. He's going to be forced to land. You can see Peckham using that Megawatt to burst through the projectiles. It goes right through the cross. And I think Peckham looks comfy now if they could just keep this advantage. Yeah, this stage select has made Peckham look like a whole new player. Really yeah. strong here. The, cra the thing about Megawatt is the shield stun you get out of that is nuts. And now he's mixing it up between the different arms that he's using, getting different timing out of his attacks, because Dom definitely knows how to deal with them. But if you keep mix mixing up the rhythm and the, the tempo of when you're throwing the arms at him and what angles they're coming at, yeah. it's going to be tough for Dom to deal with. But now this could be dire straits here. Oh, this is not good for Peckham. Got to get up the ledge against Belmont. We've all been here before. It's not fun. Yeah, and Ooh, once again, the story of the set. I mean, it's it is. if this set is a song, then that's the chorus. You just get whacked. <laughs> and you're dead early from a forward air on the left side of the stage. It's always on the left, too. It's always <laughs> on the left for some reason. It's, uh, the, I don't know if it was the DI again. I don't know. I, I, it seems like sus DI, but I, yeah. I don't know. Well, it's just, it's that scared yeah. DI. You just hold away because you don't want to get hit by something within the worst case scenarios you're holding towards the blast zone, the direction that you're getting hit. So it makes it 